Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a brief overview of all the unreleased vehicles from the Sky Operico Heist DLC. This will be just a small overview of all the cars and walk around with their infos. As I'll be making individual in-depth videos on all these vehicles showing all the customizations, top speed tests and reviews of them. So make sure to stay tuned by subscribing to the channel so you won't miss out any of them as they are going to be detailed videos. This one is just a glimpse of all these vehicles. So without wasting any more time, let's get on with the video. There are a total of 20 vehicles in this DLC and 10 of them are unreleased. More of a drip fed content. And here are all of the 10 unreleased vehicles parked together after I've completed the individual customization videos and all of them are completely customized. Coming to the first one is the Grotti Itali RSX and this is based off the Ferrari SF90 Stradel. I mean, right from the initial looks itself, you guys can make out it has so much similarities to this car. The front end, the overall design, the side profile, the rear section, literally everything comes up to the SF90 guys. I mean, even the engine section, you can clearly make out it is exactly the real life one. I mean, even the wheels too, you know, you can't miss that out. So really good design from Rockstar and also this car is priced at a ridiculous 3.5 million dollars guys. Yes, you heard that right. 3.5 million dollars. But it also has a trade price of 2.6 million dollars. So you have to be unlocking the trade price in order to get it for a million dollars less. Even that is still expensive. I mean, probably the costliest sports car. Yes, this is in the sports category, not in the super category. So this is going to be the costliest sports car in my opinion. My God, that is a lot of money, guys. And going to the interiors, well, guys, it's not new, but it actually, you know, looks good on this car. That's pretty much it. And another good thing is that this car has auto spoilers in the back. I mean, this does not fold up when you hit the brakes. It just stays open like all the times. Overall, it's a pretty good car and also the acceleration and speed is really good. The handling too is pretty good. So I give this car a good thumbs up guys. Moving on to the next one, we have the Grotti Brioso 300. I mean, this is based off the Fiat 500 Classic in real life. I don't know why it is Ferrari in GT Online that is the Grotti, but there it is. And right in the initial instance itself, you can clearly make out this has so much resemblance to the real life version. A lot of things like the front end, the top, the side profile, the rear section. I mean, Rockstar has even, you know, carried out the open roof from the real life version. So that is a cool touch. You know, you can actually open the top portion and you can also completely open the entire top till the rear section, making it a completely open car. So that is going to look cool, guys. More of that in the individual customization videos, which is going to be coming soon. But nonetheless, regarding the car itself, my god it looks so good from every single angle even the rear section you know just like the real life version guys really good job on this car too you know it's good from literally every angle and to the price well this is priced at six hundred thousand dollars yeah but it has got a trade price of four hundred and sixty thousand dollars even that is actually costly in my opinion i mean these sports classic cars you know those that are fast they are priced at that range and to get this compact car, you know, classic compact car in that range, it is quite high, guys. But that's with the vehicle and its price. Moving on to the handling, acceleration, and all those stuffs. Well, I mean, you won't be buying this for all those stuffs, right? This is more of like a fun car that you buy to, you know, drive around the map to have some fun with friends and stuff. But definitely not for performance, like acceleration, top speed, and all those stuff, because they are really bad. But nonetheless, that is the Grotti Briozo 300, guys. A really fun car, but for the price point, I mean, buy it when it goes on sale. Next up, we have the BF Weevil. I don't know if that is how we spell it. And it is the Volkswagen Beetle Type 1, guys. And here, I have actually customized it to the rally spec. I did more of a off-road kind of a build. And this car is really highly detailed, guys. I mean, I'll show you guys how the car looks, you know, basic variant. And this is how it looks. I mean, just from the looks of it, Rockstar has really done a good job with the car, guys. Look at the similarities. Really good job. And the car too is, you know, neatly detailed. And you can do like various customization themes for this. You can do the rally theme. You can do the race theme. 
or even an off-road build where you can literally remove all of those bumpers and all those stuffs and you can make you can make some crazy builds with this car guys and also the interior is not a copy paste of those other vehicles it is slightly different and also ignore the customizations that i have got overall it's a good vehicle guys and most importantly this is what makes it you know stand out from the other vehicles yeah you can really with this thing i mean this is not a muzzle category vehicle this is a compact vehicle but rockstar has added the ability to perform wheelies in this car isn't that freaking insane <laughs> i mean the stock car if you look at it you don't think you would be able to do those stuff but man this looks crazy and also another crazy part is that this thing is priced at $870,000. That is like $900,000 for this. Another 100 grand more, you'll be getting the Trafade Adder, which is the Bugatti Veyron. My God, the prices. But also it is available for a trade price of $650,000. Even that too, honestly, it is, you know, a little bit high. But yeah, that is with the car. And honestly, if I have to say, this is actually, you know, better than the Briozo 300. Even the speed actually is, you know, higher than the Briozo, guys. I kind of like this car as well. So really good detailed car with, you know, lots of customizations. Definitely not worth the initial asking price. You know, the best bet is to get it when it goes on sale. Moving on, we have the Dinka Vito modern version. I mean, we actually got the classic version released to GTA Online and it is like free for everybody. If you haven't claimed it yet, I mean, it's about time you guys do it because it is going to be going on sale for like $800,000. Yes, you heard that right. I'm not kidding with this thing. And also, if you take a closer look at this vehicle, this is actually the exact same thing of that classic version. This is a modern version. All the difference that you can see is that they've added these big body parts onto this thing. And that's pretty much it. You can clearly see the engine, the seat, the steering wheel, the framework everything is the copy paste of the old one that is the classic version there's literally no difference guys i mean ignore the wheels those are custom wheels you know i got them when i customized the vehicle but i hope you get the point they have literally copy pasted the same thing and they're charging 100 grand more than that yeah actually nine hundred and ninety five thousand dollars. that is like a million dollars guys to put that into reference trafade adder which is a bugatti veyron it costs one million dollars and this thing a freaking go-kart costs a million dollars rockstar economy right there well the good thing that i have to say about this is that it is actually faster than the classic version guys the initial acceleration as well as the top speed the top speed is about like five miles per hour faster than the old one so you know that's that's about it with this thing up next we have the maybatsu manches scott and boy is this a good off-road motorcycle i mean to those who have played the kaiopericka heist you guys would have probably tried this vehicle in the initial missions when you go to the island you know you can test drive it there but you don't get the full feel of this thing to experience the full ability of this thing you got to drive this in free roam guys i mean boy this thing is really good and there's like another feature that is you know really good about this vehicle which i'll be getting to in a short while but nonetheless, it has got like a lot of customizations. As you can see, I've literally got everything on the vehicle and the exhaust too, they are really good looking exhaust guys. The vehicle in itself is like an upgraded version and an off-road version of the original Manchester in the game. It is really good guys. I kind of like this thing. And the particular point that I was talking about earlier is that you can wheelie in this vehicle for like infinite time. I mean, I'm not kidding at this point. You can literally wheelie for as long as you want in this thing. You neither will fall backwards nor will you hit something and crash. This is that good guys. I don't know if this is a glitch or a bug with this vehicle but but I've actually tested this out and you know more of the info regarding that will be in the individual customization video where I'll be showing how you can wheelie for so long and all. But cutting short for this video, this is really a good vehicle guys. The only drawback for this is that this thing is priced at $225,000. That is quite high for this vehicle. But you know, I think it kind of justifies with this thing. Just for the wheelie stuff, the off-road ability and also the customizations. Overall a good vehicle guys. A thumbs up from my side. Moving to the next one is the Dinka Virus. And this is based off the Polaris Sportsman 570. 
and it also has got queues from the 850 model 850 or the 870 i kind of forgot that but nonetheless you can clearly see the resemblance from the real life versions and it also has got you know some sort of decent customizations i mean you can clearly see all those on the vehicle yeah those are all the customization stuff so literally that's pretty much it i mean guys i'll cut short all the unnecessary drama and i'll be upfront with this this is not a good vehicle i mean it is priced at hundred ninety thousand dollars so comparing it to the motorcycle well that is like 10 times better than this thing why i say all these negative stuff is because just you know try to remember guys there's already two quad bikes in the game presently one is the old school off-road one which has been in the game like since the beginning and there's the street version which we got as part of the dlc so both of those vehicles are really good guys this on the other hand no it's not at all worth it i mean the speed in the best part of it so i'll literally skip that and take you directly to off-roading and even the off-roading well it's not up to the mark guys i mean the basic roads and off-roading that is fine but if you try to go over rocks or stuff it is gonna suck badly so definitely you know don't waste your money on this thing you can totally ignore this vehicle it's not worth 200 grand they're asking for this thing the old ones cost you just about like 20,000 or so i kind of forgotten but you know just skip this and get those it's definitely not worth it guys the one thing is that they've actually kind of added this new character action so if you try to get on the vehicle from the back the character performs this action Moving on to the next one is the Vapid Slam Truck. I mean, my god, Rockstar has added a tow truck, a flatbed tow truck to GTA Online as part of a DLC. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. A tow truck, a goddamn tow truck. I really don't know how Rockstar is going to be implementing this into the game. Nonetheless, guys, this is the Vapid Slam Truck and it is a flatbed tow truck. In the individual customization videos you know i actually try to get vehicles on the back ramp or the flatbed and uh, yeah it's not up to mark more of the details in the individual videos so make sure to stay tuned for those i just hope when rockstar introduces this to online there's a way to you know store the vehicles on top you know without them falling off because if they fall off that is going to be pathetic going to the side profile well guys this is a slammed tow truck and no, it doesn't have the air suspension, which, you know, lifts up when you start driving. No, it doesn't have that. So that is the ground clearance you have, like, everywhere you're going to drive. Just imagine you're driving down the countryside. There's like a bump or a curb. You go over it and you get stuck. You literally get stuck. I mean, that's pretty much it. You literally get stuck right there. Ah, uh, I don't know what Rockstar was thinking, you know, when they got this vehicle done. The vehicle is good, but slammed version, not so much. In terms of handling and all, I mean guys, it's just as you expect from the initial looks of it. It absolutely sucks. The acceleration is bad, the speed is bad, and also the turning radius, the handling, it sucks. Take a look at this. I tried to turn and... Yeah, I went off the road and crashed. So... You know, it's not really that great if you're gonna be driving it around or, you know, if you're in a populated lobby. This is gonna be a pain in the back to drive. But we still don't know, like, how Rockstar is gonna be introducing these and if we'll be having the ability to carry vehicle. If it doesn't, like I said, it's gonna be ridiculous. But if it does, it's gonna be good for those car guys that do those car shows and car meets and all. It's gonna be a good addition to GTA Online. And at the end, I just wanted to, you know, show this particular clip right now. You know, I was talking about getting stuck. Well, here you go. I'll show it to you guys. I literally backed up here and my truck got stuck. I'm not kidding, you know. I'm not, I'm not joking. It literally got stuck. I had to get it out of it. I tried everything, you know, burn out, try to wiggle it around. It wouldn't move. So I had to get it out manually. My god, that was freaking insane. And also, all of this thing, the tow truck thing, the slam thing, is gonna cost you 1.3 million dollars. So if you thought you're gonna be getting it for cheap, nope, it is gonna be costing you 1.3 million dollars. Moving to the next one, well, drum roll please. We have got the Hummer H1 guys. The single cab military kind of a version. 
so this is looking badass and this is actually the mammoth squaddy and my god there's like a lot of similarities to the real life version as you can see even the front bumper the front grills all of these are just like the real life versions guys even the side mirrors the side section all those are pretty good and ignore all these these are part of the customizations you know like i said i've already customized all of these vehicles so if you want to see what all customizations these vehicles offer make sure to stay tuned by subscribing as i'll be dropping individual customization videos very shortly going back to the vehicle itself well it has got a good amount of customizations and if you notice closely we have got like a bulletproof or more like an armored doors so you know we have got armored doors but what about the windshields i mean the front windshield as well as the back windshield they are not bulletproof i really don't know what's the point of getting these armored doors that's actually ridiculous you know i don't think rockstar thought about that but that's ridiculous nonetheless going about to the vehicle in itself you can't expect much performance with this thing you know this is just like the usual off-road vehicles and also yes you gotta keep in mind and look out for clearance at the top because those rails at the back they're gonna hit into other stuff so yeah and going to the off-road aspects well you can expect you know decent amount of off-roading abilities with this thing not too great or crazy stuff with this but you know just a decent level of off-roading but the one feature you know that you definitely must consider is that you can drive this vehicle underwater not exactly underwater but into the water the snorkel finally works holy smokes what it took like seven years for rockstar to get it done i mean as you can see i literally stopped the vehicle there for like few seconds and it still drives guys i mean you guys can literally take any vehicle into the water and test it out yourself so this thing goes into water and you can literally drive till the heights of the snorkel top portion so that's one of the reasons why this vehicle is actually good other than the fact that it is the goddamn military spec hammer h1 yeah and also it comes at a price of 1.1 million dollars yeah if you thought it is going to be cheap definitely not it is going to be costing you upwards of 1 million dollars guys so that is with the mammoth squaddy pretty good vehicle i give it a thumbs up moving to the next and almost the final one it is the vetter i hope i spelled that right and this thing is based off the renault trm 4000 i mean just from the looks of it you can clearly make out the similarities between these two vehicles and i'll just cut the crap and say it up front this is a ridiculous i mean pathetic vehicle guys don't even bother about getting this vehicle i mean this is absolutely piece of junk it's ridiculous this is more like an old school military truck you kind of get like a modern version near the ford zancudo you can just steal that from there literally free that is actually much better than this too and this thing not exactly the interiors ain't that special the whole vehicle too is not that special to top it off this is a goddamn pegasus vehicle guys this is not like a personal vehicle so i don't think you will be able to do any sort of customization to this i mean there is actually no sort of customization options for this thing literally nothing and also another problem is that yeah that is the other problem i mean it would be okay if you know this was a loaded truck and there was like a lot of goods in the back but this is an empty truck and this thing is you know almost ready to topple that's that's ridiculous and going to the off-road parts well don't even get me started this thing is you know ridiculous guys i don't think rockstar you know put any sort of effort into this or even did any sort of testing for this vehicle it's absolutely ridiculous don't even bother you know getting this vehicle right it's ridiculous this thing it kind of always wants to topple to the either side and take a look at this if i remember it right this is probably the first and only dlc vehicle that has failed to climb that mountain and also another reason for you all to stay away from this vehicle is that this thing is priced at ridiculous 1.6 million dollars yes that is freaking insane for what this vehicle is 
absolutely pathetic. It also has a trade price, but even that sucks. $1.2 million, definitely not. I mean, I wouldn't pay like $20,000 for this. Hell, I wouldn't even get it if it was offered for free. So just do yourself a favor and ignore this vehicle, guys. Just imagine that this vehicle didn't even exist in this DLC. So terrible. So moving on to the final one. Well, yes, there's one final one. It is the Nagasaki weaponized dinghy. So cutting all the crap. This is just the typical dinghy with a machine gun in the front. That's pretty much it guys. Literally nothing. The only other difference is that it can be painted. But the thing is, this is a Pegasus vehicle, not a personal vehicle. Because we don't have any personal dock stations or the garages for these boats. So I don't think you can paint them. And that's literally it with this vehicle. There's nothing different with this. I mean, the speed might be a little increased but other than that i don't see any difference with this vehicle guys although yes there's a machine gun but let's face it majority of the times it's going to be solo players so this probably won't even serve the purpose and also it is going to be costing you close to 2 million dollars 1.8 million dollars for this thing i won't even comment on that thing i'll just leave it to you guys to decide if it's worth it if it's not worth it I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think the vehicle list in this DLC is kind of okay or justified or, or are you guys satisfied with it? I mean, the variety is kind of decent if I have to say. Not that good or not that bad, but still I think Rockstar could have done much better because this DLC was so much hyped and I expected like a lot more vehicles from this DLC, but, but at the end of the day, these are all what we're getting. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. Those are all the unreleased vehicles, part of the drip feed and all of them are completely customized. Rockstar did a good job with the vehicles but the list of vehicles and also in some, the ridiculous prices are a huge letdown. Many overpriced vehicles are being added. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video guys. That is the overview of all the drip feed vehicles. So till March we'll be having this drip feed. Alright everyone, do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stay tuned as individual customization videos are going to be coming soon. Thank you all and have a good day.